My name's Courtney. I'm going to be reviewing a new product on the market called the Aerosonic. I received this product about two weeks ago as a free gift to try out. And when I first got the box, I actually thought, this looks pretty familiar. It kind of has a similar shape to the Clarisonic. This is probably a pretty similar product. And in some ways that's true in the sense that it is a cleansing brush and it does have those capabilities that the Clarisonic shares in the sense of cleansing and also exfoliating. But there's several things about it that are a little bit different. Um, first off, when I opened the package, I found that there were a lot of attachments that came in the package that I didn't recognize, um, such as this lovely little attachment. It's kind of a sponge type material. It reminds me of, um, you know, when you are putting on makeup, possibly like a liquid foundation with a sponge. It's pretty similar and possibly even softer than that type of material. Um, and that is actually used for a serum or a lotion applicator. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a moment. Another unique piece was this little guy here, which looks kind of crazy. It took me a little while to figure out what that was for, but after reading the instructions, I realized this is actually um, a massager, as well as something that you can use in the toning process. And then we also have um, just general brushes Similar to other products on the market, it is color-coded, um, and there's a key in your box that will kind of tell you which one is which. I found myself gravitating towards the one that I actually have on this brush, which I'm going to pull out here. And this one is the green one, which is for sensitive skin, like mine. Um, and I was very pleased when I actually felt the brush that it is definitely softer than my Clarisonic brush head. And if you're someone who has very sensitive skin like I do, this is a super important thing. Um, I found myself with the Clarisonic not being able to use it very often. Um, it was actually a gift from someone when I first received it and I really, really like the brush and enjoy it, but I've always kind of wished I could use it a little bit more often. Um, but with my skin being so sensitive, um, it's a little bit difficult because it can sometimes kind of irritate my skin. So with this brush, it seems like I would be able to use it with more frequency. Um, also, this brush, another difference is just the way it goes on and off. So this particular one, I can just pull it off like that. With the Clarisonic, I can pull it off, but it seems like it's a little bit more difficult um, than the Aerosonic. Another really big difference is the screen, the LED screen right here. So if you look at my Clarisonic, there's no screen on it. Um, if I want to start this baby up, I'm literally going to press the power button. And then I do have three different speeds, and I have a plus. Um, so I actually have a body speed as well. And I can, um, when my brush is on, press go, and then kind of adjust the speed uh, from there. With the Aerosonic, I can turn it on and I can see all the speeds in which are available as well as what speed I'm currently at. If you're someone who's been using this type of brush, especially the Clarisonic before, um, seeing the power is actually a surprisingly really nice thing to have because oftentimes with mine, you know, I'd go a while without charging it, not being totally sure where it was at power-wise start it up and then midway through a wash it would just kind of stop and I would realize oh it was really low I actually should have charged it up prior and I would have been able to complete the wash so with the Aerosonic you'll actually see when it's on if you're at a one two or three and if you get down to a one then you'll know after that last wash you should go ahead and charge it up um, but as far as the modes that I was talking about there's a mode button right here, and you can switch the speed in which it goes, or I should say the mode, I'm sorry. So you notice that first mode was kind of a consistent bzzz. Then the second one is more of a stop, go, stop, go, as far as the vibration. And the third mode is really unique. It starts off more consistent, and then it intermittently goes and then stops, and then goes and then stops. Um, in addition to the mode, you can control the intensity level. So how much force are we really getting? Um, so I can click on here. Right now I'm at a one, but I can go a little more and all the way up to a five. And when you're ready to turn it off, 
you just click the off button. So that's kind of the differences um, in a nutshell. But to get into a little more detail um, as far as the main differences, um, I want to show you those other two brushes that were very unique. So this brush again here, this is kind of the more the massager. Um, when reading the pamphlet, it also mentioned that you can use this when you're toning. So if you spray your toner all over and you want to kind of massage that into the skin. Um, and once you've done that, if you're ready for your final step, usually like moisturizing, and you really want to get that moisturizer fully kind of, you know, rubbed in, you can use this spongy brush. Um, and when you use this, essentially you can either apply the lotion directly on it, similar to how you would apply um, your cleanser directly onto this brush, or you can apply it to your skin and actually rub it in. So just like the other um, options that I was showing you earlier, you would press on, you can change the mode, you can change the intensity to fit what's comfortable for you. Um, and then you can just rub this into your skin with the lotion on it and make sure that it's really, really going all the way in. Also, um, another thing that I didn't think about that I noticed when, when using it in this way, this is really nice if you're wanting to make sure that your lotion goes a long way. Because um, you can use less and just kind of blend it in with the tool and it's actually going to go a lot farther. So to recap, in the past I was a Clarisonic user. Definitely really enjoyed this product, really enjoyed um, having a cleansing brush in my life. But I will say, having tested out and tried the Aerosonic and all of its capabilities, including the softer brush head that's really nice for me with some as someone with sensitive skin, as well as the massager and the sponge that's able to rub in your moisturizer and make it go a little bit farther. I'm gonna go ahead and have to make a little bit more room in my drawer for the Aerosonic.